Hi, I'm Helen Hallows. I'm a mixed media artist based in the UK and I mainly work with textiles, papers and landscape as my themes. But mixed media means that I can get up to a multitude of sins and still call it art. I'm here to talk to you about planning your creative life and your studio time. And I don't think planning and creativity go well together. They certainly don't go well in my world. But life needs a plan. The jobs that you need to do needs a plan. Your washing up, your shopping needs a plan to create space for you to be a true, honest, authentic, creative. Because in that space that you then create for yourself, you give yourself permission to be who you are. You give yourself permission to be open to the expansiveness that is required to create. You give yourself permission to play. You give yourself permission to say, I've done my jobs. I have done my hard work of adulting and now I can get out my box of crayons. I can get out my paints. I can say no to other people. And I think that's been a big learning for me is the saying no to other people. We are given so many hats to wear and we take them on, but sometimes you have to take them off as well. And you may not have a studio space like I do. I'm very lucky to have a space to call my own, but you may have a tabletop or a shelf or a place where you can spend time and put your treasures and put your art materials. But there's no, routine that kind of says I can create art in the next 10 minutes I can put a switch on on Friday night when I've got some time at 7 p.m it doesn't work like that you can open up space for yourself but then you kind of need to fall into the space you need to get off this to-do list mentality you need to get off this everything being time pressured mentality because Art, making, creativity is slow work. It's slow, slow work. Now I'm an impatient creative. Once I get going, I can do things quickly. But to find that headspace where you can take away the buzz that fills our brains on a daily basis, to find the stillness, to allow to daydream, allow yourself to Try things out, allow yourself to come up with ideas, to work through ideas, to fill a sketchbook, to fail at filling a sketchbook, to start something, to stop something, to put it away. We do that. That's what creativity is. I know in lockdown, lots of people said, oh, I finally finished all those projects I've started. Well, I didn't because I'm always starting projects. That I think is the work of being a creative. And sometimes we get overwhelmed because we can have too many ideas. And sometimes we can get overwhelmed because we have too few ideas and both of them cause creative block. But I think the cure for creative block is permission not to finish pieces, not to get them framed, not to be the best. It's permission to play, to explore, to find out who you are as a creative, to say yes to yourself. So create those lists and get your jobs done, but then create that space where you can be whatever the magic is that comes. And I think you've got to plug into that gift too. Sometimes we can go, hmm, I want to be just like that person there. I want to do their course and I want to get on their bandwagon and I want to do that. And actually life has a different plan for us and we have to tap into our own uniqueness. And on my online courses, it's all about that. It's about me helping you be you because I don't really want to help you be me because there's no point in that. My sketchbook courses are about unlocking your potential to be you, about unlocking and helping you revisit what's been good for you, what's been positive in how you have been on your creative journey, about the things that you've involved, and to draw the threads together to be your unique, authentic self with the integrity and passion to create. You can find out more about the courses I offer on my website at www.helenhallows.com and if you've got any questions you can find me there and please buzz me a question. Okay, see you next time.